out. I started with autocross, then came into INRC. So that's how I started. And even to convince my parents, that was a tough thing. Like I remember my first autocross event was speed sprint, and I had taken my Isuzu V-cross for the event. So even for that event, like I couldn't tell my parents that I'm going for a car race. And since the name was speed sprint, I told my parents that it's a marathon that I have to run. Which has been your favorite format of driving? Oh, it hands down has to be rallying. It's the only sport where you require more than one ball to play. If you get it. <laughs> <laughs> so other than that, see, um, it's such a technical sport, and you know your. How do I put it again? Um, it's a sport where you feel alive. Like the moment you're into the stage, and when you're driving, everything else becomes a blur. My first rally was a rally of Coimbatore three okay. years back. I had uh, built a turbo Polo, the one liter TSI. Okay. And as there's a thing that you know you never finish your first rally, that also happened with me. I could only manage doing four stages, and in the fourth st- after the fourth stage, I broke. I had a puncture. And I drove with the puncture. Because of that, I broke my um, LSD, the limited slip differential, and I was standing. South India, me hi sara motorsports ka action kyu ho raha? North India me kyu nahi ho para? Why is it not able to evolve in North India? See, one thing going back in history, uh, motorsport mostly started in South India. Like so many great tracks have been in South India, like from the MMRT in Chennai, then the Curry Moto Speedway in Coimbatore. Now there's a new coast track that's been coming up. I think close to Bangalore. So they've all been they've always been into motorsport, and you know such renowned drivers have come out from South India. Again, like people here come with sports cars, and people think that you know if I have a small hatchback, I can't compete against those cars. That's absolutely wrong. Hmm. What they say is with us, you can drive a slow car faster than you can drive a fast car. Hmm. What I've seen, people before entering only they'll soup up their car, they'll put on like a map, they'll put on tires, max to max they'll lower their car, but they won't focus on their driving, they won't improve their driving, they won't ask other top drivers what are they doing. Rallying is no ordinary test of grit. It's where fear meets courage head on arna pratap's journey through the rugged trails has seen its share of close calls those terrifying moments when a split second decision can mean everything but in rallying the track is in just about rivals it's about a family arna talks of the brotherhood that binds these competitors together where drivers despite the competition share tips lend a hand and push each other to new heights Rallying isn't just a sport to earn up. It's a camaraderie forged in the heart of danger. Tell me about uh INRC how has it been for you at INRC oh, it's been very very well except from my last race in Coimbatore whenever I finished a rally I've luckily I've always been on the podium so INRC when I started I first few initial rallies I was way down in the time list again because I didn't have the seat time I didn't have the experience of how to actually go flat out so there was this one instance in rally of uh, Bangalore, that's the Karnataka 1000, the K1000 rally. Mm-hmm. So what had happened was, I had some EC issues in my car. Mm-hmm. When I would start my stage, the car would switch off like 10-15 times in the middle of stage. So I would have to turn off the kill switch, turn off the car and do everything, then wait for like 10 seconds. Leave the accelerator, leave the accelerator! Left. Ah, go! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Stall, stall, stall! Leave, leave, leave everything. Now start. Go. It's okay, okay, calm down. Go, 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 go. Rev it high and go, rev it high and go. Not revving only. Okay. Turn on the kill switch, then start the car again. In the middle of the stage. In the middle of the stage. And that this, this had happened with me like 
minimum like ten times. Okay. So I had lost my will to drive. I came back for my last service, and I and the issue wasn't resolved during service also. So I told everyone like my team and my crew that I don't want to drive like this since the car is not performing. So they like you know this is a rallying. This happens. So just go and drive. Don't just give up. So what I told myself that you know the car is not performing. I'll do one thing. I'll just go flat out. Like I don't care if I crash or if I this thing because I I had nothing to lose. People had made like a minute and a half on me since I had that issue. Hmm. The moment I stepped into the stage and I had that mindset that okay I'm just going flat out. I'm going balls out. I don't care if the car crashes. You won't believe I made up that one minute forty second and I came back on the podium. That rally I realized okay I have potential and if I drive the same way in other rallies I can be in the top times. But for this time, pe when you went flat out, that time, so come again. I mean, us time pe for kill switch ka wo issue nahi aaya theko. So issue aaya tha. Ha. Pehle ke stages mein car dus bari off hui. Ha. Now I came back to service. I, I was already losing. I was in on in the top three ha. times in the class. Ha. So I like me ko aise gadi chalani nahi hai the car not performing. Why am I driving? I don't want to drive a car which has issues. So now what had happened was, if I would go fully on the throttle, the car would just cut off and kill the power, and then I have to switch it off oh. and then come back again. So luckily, what my Tino did was he wrapped up something behind the accelerator so that I couldn't, so that I wouldn't go fully on the gas. <laughs> that helped me. So last two stages, I was like, you know, I'll go balls out, and then I just drove my heart out. I had so many close calls. We were jumping like I had this one instance where we came into a crest. I got the call that you know you have to break up like it was a three right or something like it was a tight turn after the crest. We overshot the corner, but we were this high and luckily the the slope was downwards. So luckily when we landed, the car didn't topple. So we just landed straight, just turned ahead, and then just kept on carrying. Even with such a mistake and going balls out, I made up that one and a half minutes in two stages, and I was on the podium. That day I realized okay I have potential, and that's one rally where I opened up as a driver. I said, okay, I can actually go balls out. Then after that, I started racing and like you know get winning all the podiums and whatever I decided. Anything you feel uh, can be done better in INRC, not as a driver but as an organizer. Do you think some things can be made better in INRC? I mean, let's take this as a feedback from a driver. Something that improves INRC. See, hats off to Blue Band Sports who organize INRC. They they are doing a wonderful job with. So many good rallies they bring in such scenic places. What I would uh, suggest as a rally driver, yeah, I have nothing much to say actually. Um, what could, I think one thing that they can focus on is doing better promotions. Okay. Like ma- in terms of marketing, they can they should promote the sport in a much better way. Yes, we have they are uh, this thing posting our rallies on YouTube channels. Mm-hmm. The whole rally is covered up. But again, like you know to. Promote the rallies all over, like in newspapers, magazines, and stuff. Like so that all other like how cricket is promoted, I want rally should also be promoted in this such a manner. Why don't you do it? I mean, this has always been something See, that has put me also a little off. That why don't they do it? I don't know. How that's much again? Again, newspaper ad. Daily, me, कोई ऐसा कोई डंबल ज़्यादा पैसा तो लगता नहीं. आते हैं newspaper में भी ads आते हैं. पूरी rally भी cover होती है. But my point is that to focus on drivers also, like all other drivers who are coming in. Make some content about them. Where are they coming from? Like how WRC and F1 is captured in such a manner. Yes, they're doing their bit, but again, can be done better. Okay, and another point that I also would like to mention in terms of improving is the stages. Uh, the stages what we have here and what people run internationally is that when we come into the rallies, the One mindset and the mentality that what we follow is that we have to save the car also. Okay, that's there that you know you must first finish to finish first, but also with the cars what we run, what I feel is that you know you can't go flat out all the time. Like if we have like fifteen stages, we can't go flat out on all the fifteen stages. You might do like five six fast flat out stages where you go balls out, but there there are some stages that are so rough that you have to. Slow down your pace so that the car also survive. Like rally like such, like rally of Coimbatore, there would be like seventy five car entries, but only like twenty five cars would finish. Oh, that, damn. 
that's also because the rally is such it's very rough it's super hard on the cars and the drivers but again basic principle of rallying what i know is that you can come and you can go flat out everywhere here in irc there are some stages or some rallies where you know most of the times you have to save your car <laughs> the moment you go flat out everywhere the car starts to break <laughs> that's something that i would like and request the organizers and the fraternity to make those stages smooth so that we can go flat out everywhere yes mm-hmm. we have amazing stages we go really fast but there's a certain level till where you can drive a car fast okay now there are stages where you know it's so rough the car only breaks down then the whole point of pushing and going flat out just dies down talk to us about uh, a couple of your most memorable rallies mm-hmm. that matlab wala dimag mein chhap gayi hai i'm not saying good or bad yeah, but no. just memorable so my most memorable rally has to be rally of maharashtra in nasik okay. so rally of maharashtra came back into the inrc calendars i think after 7 8 years okay and it's a tarmac rally and with like narrow roads blind crests very steep turns uphill and downhill so this was the first time i won the overall so i was overall third in rally of nasik so memorable thing that i was first in the junior international rally class and the inrs 3 class and also the overall third now it's memorable for two reasons first it was my first overall second it was a win after three back to back dnfs so before nasik i had three just, just for the viewers dnf is did not finish did, did not finish where i couldn't complete a rally because okay. of a mechanical issue or you know i didn't mm. win or something like the car broke down and stuff like that mm. so and three dnfs and when i came into nasik my only mindset was to just finish the rally because i hadn't finished the previous three rallies so as the same mode for that you left in racing you have out of 10 days of racing you'll have nine bad days but then that one day will make up for all the nine bad days so that was that happened to me like my and i was fighting for the overall also so what had happened was i was fighting for my class win and i was wait, i think in the last stage i was 19 seconds off to the first position so i told my co driver that we have to go balls out but also we have to finish so that you know we get some championship points <laughs> we were lucky that few drivers who were on top of us they crashed out so we came ahead into the overall third like overall third wasn't on merit but my class win was on merit overall third was like i i got lucky other people crashed and so i won again in nasik also another very good thing like it's such a strong family another top driver sail khanna so he has been a very he also has played a important part in my career like i started auto cross under him like he used to train me he used to give me tips and tricks and we rally together in the same team snap racing in inrc so i had finished off all my tires in the in the two stages of racing what we were doing so in the last two stages i have all my slick tires were worn off and i was fighting for overall and i had to win my class also and sail be i think wasn't winning at that time because he had some car issues so now imagine as a driver when you go into a rally you will have to buy a certain number of tires so he was sweet enough to give me his brand new tires oh so God. that i could use his brand new tires and you know make up the time and win the rally so like a uh, big big like thank you goes to him also that he is also played a big major role for me in winning the rally so again coming about the family and over there as drivers we win together we lose together in such a way that we i might be competing with my best friend on the track but as soon as the stage finishes we don't have that attitude okay he's my rival or mm. my competitor i won't speak to him i have so many good friends in the riding circuit that whenever i finish a stage we would come out of the car we would speak to each other he would tell me that okay you know do this do that you might go faster i would tell him do this do that so that you could go faster and it's a very strong community what i feel in 
with my experience that i have had like sad good friends that you know give you all your all your experiences throughout the rally and they tell you that okay this, there's no such thing that okay i'll the thing that you know i'll tell my competitor that okay i'll tell him i'll give him some wrong information mm. so that he does something wrong in the stage and you know he mm. loses mm. so that way we are strong that way also the community is very strong over there it's like a small family but mm. a strong family you know you've put it so beautifully main kya bataun dekho abhi i mean in one of my podcasts mm. with karan malik ha mm. he mentioned the exact same thing kahin na kahin up out here hmm for some reason people are just i don't know they shy away or they feel that the guys who are performing well are a little snobbish wo share nahi karenge wo poochte nahi hai and they you know the guys who are learning first of all they don't want to learn they th- hmm. they think they know it all exactly and second of all wo aake poochte nahi hai wo karan wahi to kehta hai ki yaar aap you come and ask me exactly so how karan correctly mentioned that like, come and asking i was the same kid who asked karan ha oh okay yeah. so when i started autocross like i mentioned so many names karan was also one of the few guys who i mentioned and he, like when i started i would look up to him that okay you know he's such a fast driver he knows his setup he knows his car he knows his driving hmm. so every time whenever there used to be an event i would go to him and all other drivers and ask them for tips nowadays i don't see that like i wish that you know people would come up to me and ask me things so that i could share all my knowledge and i love sharing my knowledge hmm. i love teaching to whoever comes and i hmm. like i want to give my knowledge to them only to promote the sport hmm. same way i was the same kid who went to karan who went to sail went to achintya went to amanpreet went to everyone for tips only because i wanted to learn hmm. that is now that's the problem people don't want to learn hmm. it's become an experience so, again so like Correct. again all yeah. these guys top guys karan sahil all these guys whenever you, i would go up to them even though i was competing against them they would never shy away from telling me that one tip that hmm. would help me go faster hmm. and that too faster than them yeah so that's a very big thing from top drivers to give out your knowledge again like I'm very lucky to have them around me hmm. and also I want to encourage people to go and ask the top drivers what are they doing how are they driving yes people might be shy but what's the harm in asking hmm i think a key statement hai na it's a very old saying but kahin na kahin people just don't understand how powerful that statement is exactly and the statement is may the best man win yeah. i mean aap ek bar karke to dekho yaar aapke exactly. jitne competitors hain jo aapse better hain aap unse poocho hmm. what are you doing wrong Correct. what can you do better yeah. and just say to yourself that you know may the best man win exactly. aapki spirit immediately change ho jati hai absolutely i 100% and that agree that just holds to not just in motoring or motorsports in general life also i feel people have kind of kind of like completely forgotten about it jahan pe bhi unko lagta hai ki yaar ye mera friend hai but ye mera competitor hai to main iska friend nahi ban sakta hmm correct It's... that's the so like i have had instances where i have taken my buddies to my races they used to come and support me that okay arnav is driving we'll go cheer for him and then slowly after few years i told them guys why don't you start driving hmm. and i have had people my friends only they've come they've mm. come into the amateur category and they won mm. and they've thanked me later yeah guys have done it even a girl has done it mm. even one of my like female friends she came to see the race i was like why don't you drive she went home with a trophy she became happy imagine <laughs> so like it's nothing tough huh it's no rocket science mm. we are just driving yes it's a little bit different it's art in the top in like the huh. top level huh but come and try Yeah, you just come and try. You will learn that way only. Yeah. No one will just enter and start winning. You have to learn that way. Tell me about the scariest moment in your rallying journey. Scariest. Okay, so I'll tell you about two of the rallies where I went. So one was Rally of Nagaland. So we were racing in the mountains where on one side you had a 2000 feet drop and one side there was the mountain. So if you hit the mountain you're off and if you fall down then also you're off. so again come racing down in is super scary but at the same time is super rewarding like when you finish your stage and you put in a good time you really feel so happy there's a sense of pride that oh my god that you know i could manage this 
like even my own boards like i was i thought it's completely normal my friends actually pointed out that, that arnav oh my god you're sideways into a corner that too over the edge now imagine one inch here or there you might have gone off now that now this is not the scariest part the scariest rally for me has been in arunachal so in rally of arunachal we race on the national highway the national highway is blocked for two days and it's a tarmac rally so now this time in arunachal it was raining and we won slick tires and this is my first tarmac rally in my career of rallying this is the first time i'm driving on tarmac now i have okay there's one thing you're driving on tarmac with slick tires now imagine it's raining cats and dogs i can remember starting my first stage i'm turning the car turning the car the car's understanding and it's not turning it's just going straight and i'm shit scared oh my god that i'm going to crash but in the last moment it just catch grip and the car will just turn that was scary then we had night stages over there now in our race cars we don't have ac so the windscreen would fog up now racing in the night with rain coming downhill with slick tires became so scary that the windscreen would fog up you couldn't see ahead and plus you had to go flat out You wind. couldn't see it. I couldn't uh, see it. See it. The now. whole windscreen was fogging up. Hmm. Now, luckily, my driver. What we had done, we had done a sasta jugar. We had taken a wiper, which was this big, and we wrapped a cloth around it. So, hats off to my navigator. He was giving me the calls, and with one hand, he's cleaning the windscreen while on the stage. <laughs> Imagine how scary would that be? Now, so Arunachal has been the scariest for me, like with the rain and you know. so much of water on the road you enter water puddle you don't know where the car would face like there yeah. was aqua planing like i remember i entered this it was a high speed turn it was a six right man a wide sweeping right turn mm-hmm. and there was water on the road so I, and you have to hit the apex i'm coming in i think i was in third year or something i turn in and the car just turns right facing the divider the divider is here my car is here luckily this was the night stage night stage luckily and raining raining <laughs> Luckily, with <laughs> with my skills or with the instinct that I had, I didn't break. As the car turned, I counter steered, didn't go on the brake, just accelerated. The car just came back, turned this way, turned that way. Two, three times the car went here and then we went straight. So that that was crazy. Like we have videos of cars running through the night, and we can see the brakes also glowing. My God, downhill, downhill. So again, so one side ah. is downhill, then other side is uphill, and in rain. So that was like the scariest valley of my life. Isn't it amazing how I mean you will be able to relate to it because I've been a fair bit of I've done a fair bit of off roading mm. and I kind of relate to it that how because of the fact that we are engaged in motorsports and you are engaged mm. way more than I am. In case something is going wrong when you're driving. your mind is completely shut it's just your muscle memory that does the work correct now it is so amazing when you come to think of it ki aapka dimag to aap laga hi nahi paoge us time exactly. pe it's just for some reason your muscle memory just works exactly. counter steer counter steer the moment something yeah. happens you can't sit you don't have time to think you hmm. just have to be at it you have to just and the worst thing you can do at that point is apply the brakes that is the worst thing you so can do so again now why i didn't do that is because of sim racing now again sim racing has also been such a vital thing in my career and it it has helped me so much and i encourage all the drivers from senior drivers to the upcoming drivers that please get into sim racing the amount of techniques it teach you hmm. is like great hmm. again when i had that moment of facing the divider hmm. why i could save that crash and not crashing is because of sim racing hmm. now what sim racing does is you have identical cars what you race hmm. and the same technique of racing is applicable to both the sides hmm. on sim racing also and your actual racing also hmm. now what sim racing is if you are racing on the sim something happens to the car you get in such a um hmm. i'll say in, like if the car is going sideways you can control it you learn you might crash 
but second day you come you know what to do हाँ. now if that happens to you in a rally car you don't come into that panic situation ki ha that oh shit what do i do now you your muscle memory is so strong that you know okay i have to save the car like this which is what i think even anmol uh, mentioned in the mm-hmm. podcast i think fourth or fifth podcast mein wo mentioned mm-hmm. karta hai ki agar aap race us time nahi kar rahe ho there is no race going on mm-hmm. get into sim racing at exactly. least keep your senses alive exactly. because he was mentioning that as a memory you can't be like ki you come on the ra- you come on thursday mm-hmm. and then you Sit take in the, the car entire thursday to wake up correct you can't afford you to can't do, that. do that you can't do that and before i move forward i think woh wali maine galti kar di jo maine pehle boli thi ki when we spoke about you driving in rain on slick tires mm-hmm. i think i'll just give a quick explanation to people so basically what happened in arnav's case was as he mentioned slick tires so first of all slick tires is nothing but tires which are completely flat unke upar koi tread nahi hota वो कम्प्लीटली फ्लैट इसलिए होते हैं बेसिकली इट्स मेंट फॉर ड्राई रोड्स कम्प्लीटली ड्राई टार मैक एंड द रीजन इज टू मैक्सिमाइज द कॉन्टैक्ट जितना स्लिक होगा जितना फ्लैट होगा जितने कम ग्रूव्स होंगे उतना ज़्यादा रोड कॉन्टैक्ट ज़्यादा होगा अब रेन में उसका कम्प्लीटली उल्टा होता है बिकॉज इट इज़ फ्लैट और टायर का ग्रूव उसके अंदर नहीं है तो पानी अगर आपका टायर पानी के ऊपर जाता है तो पानी रिपेल नहीं करेगा दर इज नो ग्रिप दर इज नो ग्रिप दैट विच इज वाई ही एंडेड अप एक्वा प्लेनिंग मल्टीपल टाइम्स एक्वा प्लेनिंग इज इन सिंपल टर्म्स वेन यू पुट इट लेट्स ए योर ड्राइविंग विद स्लिक टायर्स सामने पानी का पडल आता है तो इन अ जनरल टायर इन अ नॉर्मल टायर द टायर विल डाइव इन साइड द वॉटर एंड इट विल गो पास्ट इट बट इन केस ऑफ अ फ्लैट टायर यू विल ड्राइव ओवर द वॉटर Mm. and when you're driving over the water aap jahan marzi gaadi ki steering kaat lo kuch bhi kar lo wo momentum kaisa hai wo it will just keep going where it's yeah. going so just for you guys to imagine this <laughs> frame of mind why he was in that position yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah so coming back to what we were talking now again with sim racing also i would also Haan. like to mention one is that your muscle memory becomes correct at life it becomes life Second is, sim racing has become so advanced that even play around with the setup. Now, for people to how accurate is it? I mean, if I may ask, I'm sorry. I'm See, in my case, it's really accurate. With sim racing, you can also change setups of the car. You can run a softer setup, a stiffer setup, depending on the surface of the rally, being it a tarmac or a gravel or like racing on snow or whatever. Now. you can experiment with your setups tomorrow when you're practicing on sims you can replicate the exact same thing on your rally car but that's what i want to know ki maan le ki let's say it's let's say a volkswagen polo 1.6 what you're driving you prepare exact same spec car on sim racing yeah. and let's say you're driving on tarmac in terms of the behavior of the car of course i mean course, i'm not even including g4 yeah. so kitna farak hai there will be a slight difference of course of course because there's no feel as such of a real car on the sim but again with your setups no okay now before getting to setups you one must understand the feedback that's coming from the car now in a sim when i'm changing the setup the same setup if a similar setup what i do on my rally car and i do the same kind of a maneuver i can feel the exact same way on the sim and the car so that way it enables you to learn more and to put it on ground when you are actually racing to matlab ab sim racing us level pe aa gayi hai ki that the accuracy level is enough exactly for so, you to replicate like how there are like mecha- so i'll tell you about how you understand the rally car so there are your most important components hmm. that help you grip the road is your tires your suspension and your differential so lsd tires and suspension so anything you fiddle with will give you a difference on the sim and on the car so whatever you change in the sim and the car you will get to know okay the car is acting differently with this okay. separate setup now the same thing when you ask your tuner you do it yourself to a rally car you will feel the same way that ways you become sound with your setups also okay you learn okay if i'm going softer on rebound or like mm. high speed the car is doing this mm. same way it happens to the rally car also okay So that's why sim racing is important. It's, firstly, it's cheaper. Secondly, it has a restart button. <laughs> Even if you crash, you can restart. So in your daily, when you go out for testing, you don't have a restart button. Uh-huh. So if you crash, you crash. So it's better you practice it on the sim, then come out in the real world and start driving and do the exact same thing. It'll help you. Okay. Yeah. So and a big credit goes to Sanjay Sikand, again a veteran rally driver. When I started autocross, 
he I've used heard to be... a lot about Sanjay Sikhan sir yeah. and unfortunately abhi tak main mil nahi paya unse you must meet him i will he is a crazy guy the crazy stories what he has from his rap days matlab itne log sikki bhaiya sikki bhaiya sikki bhaiya ka like yaar hai kaun sikki bhaiya ek baar milna he is a legend he is a legend of our sport so he he only introduced me to sim racing we used to so another uh friend of mine called arjun rao again so we used to do autocross over here now he shifted to canada he is not racing anymore so me arjun and samrat yadav top gypsy driver yes. from my nrc we all three would go to sikki via's house and practice on the sim at his place so then he would tell us that okay do this do that and from there the craze of sim racing started wow yeah so just one last question because i think we've covered it all up almost everything what got you into the car scene so car scene i'll tell you so uh, we bought a isuzu v cross in 2017 and i saw this youtube video where this australian guy has souped it up with all arb parts mm. from the bumper fuel tank suspension and everything so mm. i was like okay i want to do the exact same thing to my car so i went to autocycle i met arush there god bless his soul a uh, wonderful guy and um, so i went there uh, we got everything from him we started building the car i remember it was i think sunday or something or i know anyway hmm. whatever day it was so we reached his place at 10 the car, the work started at 11 in the morning finished at 11 in the night all those hours i was right next to the car seeing what all was going on in the car how were they fixing the car and stuff like that and there i met uh, prithvi and akshay jain hmm. so akshay jain yeah yeah so jetta exactly that time he was there with his tt ah huh. so that time i had no clue about remapping and stuff and this was the first uh, initial year of me getting into the car scene i entered auto cycle and they were doing something with the laptop on top of the car so i was in tea that you know what are these guys doing so i went up to them and i asked them you know what's happening so they like you know we are tuning the car and i like, watched that so they told me this is a i think 200 horsepower car and now it's producing around 400 horsepower i'm like oh wow uh, how did that happen <laughs> so then prithvi explained it to me okay there's tuning you do this you put an intake you put a exhaust you put a tune and stuff like that from so since then i got into the car scene and then after that since i built the car i came into off roading then and that's again so when i mention off roading i have to give another big thanks to vikram jeet from uh, as of course i remember before the v cross when i was 17 years old i had a pajero and this is right after i'd come back from my boarding school so i would that time i would hit the gym and i would take my car to the gym and i would spend over 2 hours in the gym and i was really skinny back then and the nag of driving had just kicked in that you know i have a car to myself i can drive when i want to drive so my father used to tell me that you know you don't have a license you can't go out driving if if you were caught driving without a license you will be chilling at home i'll be put behind bars so i had this massive fear i had this massive fear that i can't take the car out so i had this friend of mine who would drive his car without a license so looking at him i was like if he can drive without a license even i want to drive inspiration inspiration imagine <laughs> so what i started doing i would tell my parents i am going to the gym but i would take my car i would go pick up my friends do off roading come back drop them at their places get the car washed and park it back at home and that as i worked out and stuff <laughs> now coming to oraz i found out this place gallivanting the city that okay there's this off roading place so i got really excited and I, that you know i have to come and visit this place so i took my car i went to vikram bhai and i was like ki i want to drive so he like give me your license so i was like you know i don't have a license and he's like you can't drive so i you know i i know how much i begged him i told that i'm a really good driver i've come from really far please let me drive so then you know he saw the conviction and stuff that he was like okay you drive so started off roading from there did my autocross from there so that's actually where i started my flipped also at oras for the first time again a very funny story so again my parents don't know this but i flipped twice in a car and you know what's the funny part or other i wasn't driving both the times imagine oh god who is driving so what had happened was i'll tell you the story uh gorav gill was doing his rally school in delhi okay and i was driving my mom's car back then for autocross it was a vitara brezza okay and i had 
taken out the interior i had put in a rally seat i had put on after market breaks a remap in intake and oh i forgot to mention arush was such a sweet guy arush had come out with this lift kit from ibac uh ibac a uh, 1 inch lift kit for all the crossover cars so he, what he told me was that you know i have bought this suspension uh, kit that i want you to test it mm-hmm. now imagine i am just one day into the sport and he was so sweet to let me test his suspension so i got the kit i put that on my car so i had the autocross spec car mm-hmm. so gorav gil was doing his rally school over the weekend friday i go to oras and i meet vikram and we are standing on top of one of the obstacles and i see one guy in a swift just going round and round so i ask vikram bhai ki you know why are you letting him drive is breaking before the corner he is not driving rightly why are you you know telling him that you know keep at it so he told me that do one thing you sit you drive his car and tell him what to do sorry no no i am not driving his car i'll sit with him and i'll tell him what to do so first two corners i tell him okay you break here you turn in and then you go flat out so first two corners the guy does the right thing third corner i don't know what happens to him he goes straight into a bank and we toppled so anyway my first topple we came out of the gun we were safe we were wearing our belts and our helmets we came out nothing happened then my friends were like oh my god you didn't click a picture and i'm a big social media addict also so i'm like oh shit i didn't click a picture so that day i said next time i topple i'll de- click a picture i made a promise to myself Little did I know that I'll flip tomorrow again. <laughs> so <laughs> next day we are doing Gaurav Gill's rally school. So the day is finished. I am sitting with Jazzy, just me and Jubal. Ah, of course. Again, a fantastic driver. Yeah. So he is driving. I am sitting next to him. <laughs> and my my this mistake. We I wasn't wearing my helmet. So he is driving, and I am making an Instagram story for him. I don't know what happens to him. We enter a ninety eight degree left corner. and he pulls the handbrake so we are sideways coming to the corner and we know that okay we not making the corner we getting the bank and soon as we pull the handbrake the car topples everything is falling off the helmet comes on top and you know what was my reaction within seconds vidit was there vidit opened the door my first reaction as the door opened my hands went like this imagine <laughs> and and you know everyone like relax like they are all safe let them come out and i like, no 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 i start finding my and imagine i'm lying upside down i'm finding my phone ki mera phone ka hai mera phone ka and i'm telling vidit ki vidit meri photo lo yaar ye photo lo tere i'm like ha click a photo of me and then on the side jazz is like bhaiya meko bahar jana hai meko imagine first time he is also toppling he is lying upside down he is freaked out he is like bhaiya meko bahar jana hai bahar jana hai i'm telling vidit meri photo lo yaar pehle <laughs> Oh my God, dude! <laughs> so yeah, so my boat like toppled twice in like in the span of two days, and that oh. too was not driving. But yeah, again with sim racing, I was in Chennai doing South India Rally. We came into this corner. I turned in early, and we hit a bank, and the car is almost sideways. Mm. Because of same sim racing, I did not let the car topple. Because as soon as the car lifted off, I counter stayed, counter stayed, got the car on wheels. Counter stayed and accelerated also, bro. Yeah. Never go on brakes. Never go on brakes. I think a good idea would be. I mean, uh, because I'm kind of done with my questions, so it will be great if you can. We can do like a five minute session on a sim racing while yeah, you yeah, talk uh, us through it. Of course, hundred percent. another vital part in racing is left foot braking now every day in road you can't practice left foot braking left foot braking is also a major aspect related to weight transfer now what weight transfer does is when you brake 
the whole weight of the car goes to the front what that does is it puts weight in the front to your tires so so your tires grip now whenever i press the brake the first thing the car will do is shift the weight to the front the, which will help the front tires to generate grip and that's how i can turn the car fast into the corner like this and get the car to rotate plus also handling all the dynamics of the car like even if i turn this way or this way it's all natural like i don't go into panic mode and you know brake just go straight on the brakes and you know crash the car now for the fast and i press the brake lift off i'll get the car into a turn I think it was a great conversation with you Arnav and this is definitely just the first podcast with you as you evolve as I evolve as the whole scene evolves yeah. I think there'll be many more conversations yeah, yeah. we'll continue having right. and talking about your experience 100% thank you for having me and keep doing pleasure is on mine yeah pleasure is on mine and also I would also like to mention that please get some more people from the motorsport community who who are not into the line that who can give so much back to the sport and to the people who are watching your sport and can speak so much better about the sport i will so from sikhia to goravil so many plenty plenty of names i'll give you off the camera but okay. please make sure you get all i promise you that really looking happen. forward that'll happen thank you good good show <laughs>